to. I'm a nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. Some of you know who I am. I've been formulating nutritional products and skincare products for many years and following Dr. Wallach's work very closely since the 1990s. Over 17 years now. First got my attention about Dr. Wallach was his message of his philosophy about the uh, ideas of building the body and making it healthy using nutrition, using the raw materials that build the body, the structural element of the body. The structural element of the body is largely composed of something called connective tissue and includes the circulatory system, the blood, the lymphatic vessels, the bones. The blood itself is a type of connective tissue in addition to the vessels and the bones and the fibers in the skin that keep it from wrinkling. Connective tissue is the bulk of the body. If you've heard of the term collagen, that's what they're talking about. It's connective tissue. Gelatin is connective tissue. Along with muscle, connective tissue is 80 or so percent of the body. And connective tissue disorders are not surprisingly rampant. They're all basically the same thing, whether it's scleroderma or prolapses or Ehlers-Danlos syndrome or Sjogren's disease. It really doesn't matter what you call it. If you're dealing with a connective tissue, if you're dealing with one of these illnesses, you're dealing with a connective tissue kind of disease or breakdown. If you look at a piece of meat or a steak, you'll see two major components. You see the stuff we call meat, that's the muscle, and then you got the chewy, fibery, gristly portion, or maybe the fat, which is the connective tissue. In all animal bodies, you got these two major elements that are kind of wrapped around each other, and the physical structure of all higher animals is probably on the order of 80% made up of muscle tissue and connective tissue. The muscles contract and relax, and as they do, the connective tissue fibers and tissues get pulled around. And this is basically how bodies move and how body parts move. As far as health goes, connective tissue breakdown is at least partially involved in all degenerative diseases. Arthritis is a classic example of a connective tissue kind of disorder. Learning how to build and how to support connective tissue is a very important part of getting healthy and strong. This was Dr. Wallach's message when I first started listening to him and continues to be. And by the way, this is a very important strategy for slowing down the aging process. But there's something else important about connective tissue, and that's the electrical capacity of connective tissue. Connective tissue is actually like a computer. It generates an electrical charge. It generates an electrical mist around the body, an electrical field that integrates the entire body from head to toe in one homogeneous entity. By definition, a field is an area that acts as a unit, and connective tissue em emits an electrical field, an electrical field that can be seen around the body if you have the right kind of equipment. Connective tissue, cells and stuff, that make up connective tissue have many of the same electrical properties that an integrated computer chip has. Connective tissue stores energy, releases energy, releases and stores charges, electro, uh, electrons, pieces of electricity, if you will. Connective tissue is super duper important stuff. Over the course of time, our connective tissue matrix starts to break down. It starts, the electrical energy starts to become distorted, and this is one of the ways we age. This is how we fall apart. This can result from trauma, it can result from poor posture, long-term contractions that are the result of stress, and certainly nutritional deficiency. And a lack of oxygen can make matters worse, as can the depositing of toxins and poisons that enter into the body through the digestive tract. Sometimes scar tissue develops in connective tissue after surgeries and traumas, arthritis, aches and pains, stiffness, these are all indicators of connective tissue problems. Deep tissue massage, Pilates, yoga, any kind of stretching can help improve the health of your connective tissue. Strength of connective tissue, flexibility of connective tissue, all of these can be improved by using these kinds of techniques. Pilates, I love Pilates, yoga, meditation, any stretching really, any relaxation can do it. Rolfing, which is a type of intense massage can help. Remember, connective tissue tightness or connective tissue breakdown also means electrical breakdown too. It means less electrical flow, disrupted information. Electrical conductivity can be interfered with and ultimately all degenerative diseases can arise from connective tissue dysfunction. Large part of the body is connective tissue, so understanding how to build connective tissue is super, super important, not just for the structural health of the body, but also the electrical health of the body. And from a nutritional standpoint, there's a heck of a lot of stuff you can do. Connective tissue is mostly made up of protein and amino acids, so making sure you're eating eggs, and fish, and quality dairy, whey protein, the slender FX from longevity, and meat can all be important. Fish can also be important. Using glucosamine, the glucogel caps, superstar connective tissue building supplement. Ultimate enzymes can help you utilize your dietary protein and the ultimate enzymes taken on an empty stomach can actually suppress inflammation that can disrupt the health of connective tissue. 
gelatin in the glucogel caps contains the amino acids for building connective tissue. Glucosamine is a raw material for building connective tissue. Vitamin C, key vitamin for building connective tissue. You're going to get 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C in a dose of Beyond Tangy Tangerine. So always swig a little BTT when you take your glucogel caps. MSM sulfur, again, in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, very important part of building strong connective tissue. You get that in your BTT, and magnesium and calcium are also important, and also essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs can turn on connective tissue growth. Hmm, let's see, magnesium, essential fatty acids, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, that sounds like the healthy start pack to me. And if you're dealing with any connective tissue problems, and there's lots of them, arthritis and Sjogren's disease and scleroderma and lupus and osteoporosis and aneurysms and uh, uh, cholesterol deposits and blood vessels, all of these can be indicators of connective tissue problems. And by the way, if you're starting to notice fine lines and wrinkles on your face, again, that's not a skin problem, it's a connective tissue problem. Get yourself on the healthy start pack and get on it now. Call your longevity rep, tell them you want the healthy start pack. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Dead Doctors Don't Lie program. We're coming back with more good health information, and we're taking your phone calls as well. Our number, 831-685-1080. That's your priority line number, or 888-379-2552. 888-379-2552. We'll take a time out and come back with more good health information on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie program. Don't go away. I'll be sitting in for the next 45 minutes or so as I always do in the Dead Doctors Don't Lie program with my good friend and colleague, Douglas Winfrey. Hello, Doug. Hello. It's good to have you back on. Gracias. Got a, got a Fox News story here headlined, Exercise may not help all with type 2 diabetes. They say not everyone with type 2 diabetes will benefit from exercise. Say a fresh look at past research. They say exercise has widely been recommended to help people prevent and manage type 2 diabetes, but they say as many as one in five patients may not benefit. According hmm. to Lauren M. Sparks of the San Bernardino uh, Medical in- Research Institute in Orlando, she's quoted as saying, but at this stage, we do not know who will and who will not respond to an exercise program. Believes the phenomenon is rooted in genetics. Hopes more research programs will investigate the underlying mechanisms and will identify the uh, individuals before they begin an exercise program. She goes on to say we can then ultimately develop novel strategies while still using exercise to help them in their quest to either prevent the onset of type 2 diabetes or get their diabetes under control. They say type 2 diabetes, of course, is often referred to as adult onset diabetes. You know, they really don't do that much anymore because you got kids as young as 12 and 13 with type 2 diabetes nowadays. So I I know a kid was diagnosed when he was like 18 years old. That's why they call it type 2 diabetes and not adult onset diabetes. Yeah, yeah. That's what they used to call it. Yeah, they say regular exercise plays a role in preventing the disease as well as in helping manage it. They say regular exercise programs along with diet and medication are part of a person's personal treatment plan. And according to this, Lauren Sparks says, we now know that about 15 to 20 percent of individuals do not respond to supervised exercise interventions at least in terms of glucose control and mu- muscle metabolism. And for many of them, it's not a, fr- a lack from trying. They say some participants use treadmills three to four days a week for nine months and still ended up no better than they were when they started. Uh, she says, we did not intervene with their diets. Well, there you go. That's probably why they had a problem. They were probably still eating you know, cotton candy and stuff. <sighs> So, you know, here's the thing about exercise, Doug, that they kind of go, people don't talk about a lot. Everybody wants to exercise to lose weight. Everybody wants to exercise for their diabetes and for reasons, but exercise just feels good, especially when you're done with it. When you're done with your exercise program, you get a surge of pleasure hormones in your brain and it doesn't take a lot of exercise either. You can get a good workout in 30 seconds or 60 seconds. Everybody has 30 seconds or 60 seconds. And the surge of pleasure hormones alone makes it worth it, aside from the fact that it has all these health benefits. But the idea of exercising to lose weight or exercising for diabetes or exercising for a specific health challenge, I don't know if I'm hip to that. I don't know if I necessarily buy into that. And I know lots of people exercise like crazy. They still can't lose weight. These problems are metabolic in nature. They're chemistry in nature. And while exercise is super important, the body responds to stresses in a positive fashion. The body responds to the stress of exercise in a positive fashion, especially the brain. It's not like you want to say, oh, I'm exercising for this reason or that reason. You simply exercise because it's in the body's nature. It's in the body. The body feels better. The body does better. We feel better. We do better after a good workout. Doug, even if you don't like the workout process, don't you feel better when you're done? 
Isn't that a beautiful feeling when you're done with a run or done lifting weights or whatever? Well, I used to run a lot until my knees got bad. And um, I, you know, I'd like long distance type running, you know, where I'd run five to seven miles a day. And and that that is a, a, you kind of can get addicted to that runner's high. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful feeling. I remember I used to run also, and I remember I used to hate it. I used to dread going out and running. But when I was done, it was the most beautiful feeling in the world. You feel like you completed something. You feel like you accomplished something. And you know what else? That's true about all projects. All projects that we resist doing, once we do them, believe it or not, our brain responds with a surge of dopamine, which is your pleasure hormone, your pleasure brain chemical. And for that reason alone, it's a... It's reason enough to uh, not procrastinate, to get your butt out there and do some kind of physical exertion, some kind of exercise. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got more to say about health, nutrition, and prescription drugs. If you've got questions, we're taking your calls at 844-236. I'm sorry, uh, 831-685-1080, 831-685-1080, or 888-379-2552, 888-379-2552, toll free. You're listening to the Dead Doctors Don't Lie program on the ZBS radio network. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Along with Doug Winfrey, sitting in for Doc Wallach today. We'll be back right after this. Get your calls here in just a second. Did you hear Doc on George Norrie yesterday, by the way? That's Last way night? too late for me. It's way too late. Okay. He was awesome, as always. Got a lot of questions about diabetes. You know, it's, to me, the, the whole diabetic well, thing is It's an is so epidemic I- in this country. It's, but it's so ironic because it's so easy to reverse. And not, I don't like the word cure, because to say cure implies that you have a disease, you have something, and you're going to miraculously change it. I like to think of more like reverse. Reverse implies that the problem is a verb. It's a process. Diabetes is a process. It's something that happens to you over, uh, as, you, as, you, uh, in, as a response to certain behaviors. So you change the behavior, the, the condition reverses itself, and it's always going to involve food. This is type 2 diabetes. It uh, uh, used to be called adult-onset diabetes. Now kids get it, so they call it type 2 diabetes. You guys, there are 100 million or more Americans who are dealing with type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes. It kills, it's the second leading cause of death or the third leading cause of death. And if you factor in heart disease, which is pretty much caused by blood sugar problems, and even cancer, which may have a blood sugar connection, and diabetes and blood sugar problems, technically called dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, may be the leading cause of death in the world. And it's a lifestyle issue. It's a behavioral issue. It involves food and supplementation. If you're dealing with blood sugar problems, it's simple, easy to reverse. Number one. Watch your food intake. Eat less food and certainly eating less pro- processed foods, processed starches and flours and sugars and fruit juices, etc. We all know the, the usual suspects. And then getting on a good nutritional supplement program can be key. One of the most important classes of nutrients that are involved with keeping your blood sugar stable are the B-complex of vitamins. Vitamins B1, B2, B3, etc. Here's the thing about the B vitamins. The B vitamins are water-soluble. You urinate them out. Every time you go to the bathroom, you lose your B vitamins. If you're not replacing them, of course you're going to be deficient. And, of course, you're going to have blood sugar problems. You'll also probably have problems with energy. You'll also have uh, brain problems. You may have uh, uh, blood pressure problems, too. The B vitamins are your energy vitamins. They're so vital. They're so important. And every time we go to the bathroom, we lose them. And if you're not replacing them, there's no way you can't be deficient in the B complex of vitamins. And more than likely, you're going to end up with blood sugar problems. So what do you do? Well, guess what? The Beyond Tangy Tangerine is loaded with the B complex. Keep it going in your system all day long. Sip on it all day long. Especially make sure you're getting your BTT, your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, after meals. Make sure you're getting it especially after sweet meals, after starchy meals. Make sure you, you're using it first thing in the morning. Most people go to the bathroom once or twice in the middle of the night. Of course, you're going to be deficient in the B-complex first thing in the morning. And we all know we don't feel so, much, so energized first thing in the morning. Many people have a good night's sleep, and they don't feel energized first thing in the morning. And many people have high blood sugar concentrations first thing in the morning. Could that be because they're not replacing their B-complex of vitamins? I say it's a good bet. And considering it's so darn easy to make sure you're taking your B-complex of vitamins throughout the day by using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, this is so tragic to me. 
third leading cause of death, maybe the first or second leading cause of death if you factor everything in. And it's so easy to reverse. Doc Wallach's been talking about it for years. I've been talking about it for years. You guys, if you have a blood sugar problem, if you're diabetic, if you're pre-diabetic, even if the doctor told you your blood sugar is fine, if you're gaining weight around the middle, if you're noticing your blood pressure is high, if you're craving sugar, if you feel tired after meals, these are all indicators that your blood sugar could be off, that your insulin could be off, and that you're pre-diabetic or even diabetic. Get yourself on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, throw in some sweeties, use the Healthy Star Pack, and watch what happens. You don't need any prescription drugs. You're not condemned if you have blood sugar problems or diabetes. Simply change the way you eat and make sure you get on a good nutritional supplement program like the one designed by Doc. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you, and we'll get to your calls uh, when we come back from our break here. 831-685-1080. 831-685-1080 is our priority line number. 888-379-2552. 888-379-2552. Toll free. We're coming back at you right after this. Don't go away. Let's head to Connecticut and Norkeisha. You're on with Dr. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs. Norkeisha. Is that right? Hi. Hi. How are you, Pharmacist Ben? I'm doing good. Is it, did, did I say that right? Norkeisha. That is correct, yes. Oh, that's a beautiful name. N-O-R-K-E-I-S-H-A? Uh, K-E-C-H-A, actually. That's a beautiful name, Norkeisha. What's going on? How can we help you? Um, I have been uh, suffering with um, incontinence for the last uh, couple of years. Okay. And um, I'm not really sure um, what brought it on. I think it may be an onset maybe of um, I am a little bit overweight. Okay. Um, and I think that may be it, but I'm not really sure. Well, you're on the right track. It's not, it's, not that the, it's not that being overweight can lead to incontinence. It's more like the overweight problem and the incontinence problem are, uh, are associated with the same cause. So here, let me ask you a couple of questions, all right? And just give me approximately how old you are. You don't have to tell me exactly. 40s, 30s kind of thing, 50s? Uh, 36. Okay. Well, you're pretty young there, my dear. Um, and then uh, any issues with your blood pressure or anything like that? No, I've you know? never had any. You don't know? Mm-hmm. Okay, so do you take your blood pressure? You don't, or just never never had it? N- never was an issue? Um, I actually get it checked every year. Okay, um, all right, good for you. All right, good. How about, uh, how about digestive symptomology? Anything cramping, bloating, discomfort after foods, food allergies, anything like that? Um, I do sometimes have a little bit of stomach cramping. Um, okay. Okay, that's not uncommon. Here's what you need to do, all right? Number one, we need to get to the bottom of the digestive issues. Uh, See if you can link the digestive issues to foods. That's number one, and then you're going to want to eliminate those foods. I tell people to do a food diary where you write down everything you eat and then write down how you feel afterwards. Uh, The second thing you want to do is start patching up the digestive system. If you have any kind of leaking in the digestive system, foods that are getting into the blood uh, bloodstream, that can cause some inflammatory problems, and that can absolutely cause incontinence. Usually it happens when you're older, but it's not unheard of for you to have problems when you're younger either. Uh, uh, diabetes, by the way, uh, in addition to blood sugar problems, in addition to digestive problems, are big causes of incontinence. So focusing on food toxicity, inflammatory factors that are getting into, the, into your digestive system through foods, by eliminating foods, that's job number one. Secondly, get yourself on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Use digestive enzymes after meals and uh, maybe a little apple cider vinegar with your digestive enzymes. And if you want to throw one more thing in there, you could do the Z-radical or the Fucoidin Z a little bit better. Then you want to start working with the digestive system. As I say, uh, uh, going to the bathroom a lot or having problems with, uh, with uh, incontinence, that can be associated with issues around blood sugar, uh, especially if you're starting to gain some weight where you didn't gain weight before. Start to look at uh, foods that are blood sugar spiking foods like starches and breads and potatoes and rice and try to eliminate those. And then do all the things that we talk about in terms of nutritional supplements for your blood sugar. Chromium and vanadium in the sweeties, vital. Magnesium in the Beyond OsteoFX, vital. Also, the B-complex, as we talked about at the beginning of the program, very important for blood sugar issues, and uh, that's in the health, that'll be in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. All that's the healthy star pack. So here's what you want to do. Focus on foods, eliminate the, uh, uh, focus on problem foods and eliminate the problem foods. Eliminate foods that spike your blood sugar. Use the healthy star pack and then add in the sweeties, the uh, ultimate enzymes with apple cider vinegar, the Fucoidin Z, and then the Beyond, or sorry, the uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence products. Focus on your problem as if it was a blood sugar issue and a digestive issue first and foremost. Thanks for your call. Norkeisha, I love that name. I hope we helped you out. All right, we got to take a break. 831-685-1080 is our priority line number. 888 Toll free. I'm Pharmacist Ben, along with Doug Winfrey. Sitting in for Doc today. We'll be back right after this. 
Let's head to Columbus, Ohio, and Matt, you're on with Pharmacist Ben Fuchs. Hey, Matt. How you doing, Pharmacist Ben? What's going on, my friend? Well, let's see if I can get this out before my battery goes out. I'm okay. getting the low battery alarm. Um, all right. First of all, um, um, the one capsule thing is Fucoid Z, not Fucoid, and I've heard you spell it for people before on your show. It's Fucoid Z. Yeah, just few cord without. You know what? Thank you so much for pointing that out to me. I appreciate that. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, So my main question is: uh, this came up in the Escape of Longevity Facebook page, which is Escape is where he came from. Um, Somebody was talking about the Swero cleanse. Swero cleanse. I'm doing one today, actually. I'm doing a Swero V cleanse today. Yeah. I love it. I love it too. They were wondering about whether they should take. They're Mighty 90 because, you know, it says mm-hmm. no other food and beverages. And I said, sure, you, because you're putting your liver under all that stress. But I thought I'd get some. You want my take on the, that? The real word, yeah. Uh, here's the deal. I, I get that question a lot. Thanks for your call. appreciate it. Um, here's the deal. It doesn't matter. If you take a day off from your supplements, it's not going to kill you. If you take the supplements, it's not going to affect the fast too much. It really doesn't matter. It's basically how you feel. The key is you want to keep your calories down. Uh, you want to keep your calories down to zero. You don't want your digestive system working. This is the idea of doing a fast. Is It's the best detox there is. It gives your body a chance to recover. It gives your digestive system a chance to rest. It gives your liver a chance to catch up. For most of us, our livers are all backed up because of all the toxins we're ingesting through food and drugs and everything else. So it just gives your body a chance to relax. I call it hitting the reset button. Whether you take your supplements or not really doesn't matter. You know, If you feel like you want to do your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, that's great. And if you feel like you don't want to, that's not going to hurt you either, and that's my take on it. I've done it both ways personally, and I do a swear of fast at least once a month, sometimes twice, sometimes three times a month. Uh, and sometimes I'll do my supplements, and sometimes I won't, and it's just kind of a, a question of how you feel. It's not the end of the world if you skip a day, and it isn't going to affect the fast if you use your supplements, so it's kind of up to you. The key is to give yourself a food holiday. Take a day off from food, and then the swear V will make, uh, by using the swear V, you'll assure yourself that you're getting the electrolytes, the potassium, and the sodium to run your body and give you energy. And I'm telling you what. What? You'll have so much energy, you're not going to believe it. Have you done this yet, Douglas, by the way, the swear V cleanse or a fast? No, day? no. It's amazing. It's not eating. <laughs> it's amazing. Try it one day. Sip on the swear of V. It's, 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 you won't believe how much energy you'll have and how much more time you'll have. You want to stop and eat, and not to mention the fact that you'll be uh, improving your body's detox, uh, detox capabilities and just improving your health uh, just in a generic, in a general kind of way. All right, thanks for your question. Appreciate it. 831-685-1080-888-379-2552. Toll free. Who's next? Well, let's head to uh, Pennsylvania. And Doreen, you're on with pharmacist Ben Fuchs. Hello, Doreen. Hi there. What's um, going on? I have a, I have a question. Uh, actually, two questions. Yes, ma'am. Um, one is um, I'm, I called Dr. Wallach about two months ago about my father-in-law. He has okay. partial bone-on-bone in his knee, uh, okay. arthritis. Okay. And he's doing the two... Um, healthy bone and joint packs, and Good. he's been very um, aggressive with it, and he's, you know, really trying this. He wants to give this the 90-day challenge, and he is starting to feel after two months um, worse pain in his um, knees, and I okay. don't know if that's a sign how, of how, rebuilding. No, no, no. It's not a sign something's wrong here. What, how old's your dad? Uh, he is 78. Okay. Well, he's starting to break down, that's for sure. A healthy start pack and the healthy bone pack, those are all must have. Stick with it. Uh, but more important, or as importantly, I should tell you, if something's getting into, the, into his circulatory system, into his blood through his digestive system that's causing inflammation, that's going to act cross, it's going to act crosswise. It'll act against the supplements. So it'll make the supplements much harder. Uh, it'll make it much harder for the supplements to work is what I'm trying to say here. So look for digestive problems. Look for, and he's got, if he's 78, he's got to have something going on. It's very, almost impossible to be 78 years old and not have some kind of digestive health issues. Uh, look for digestive health issues. And that means constipation, diarrhea, loose stools, bloating, heartburn, gas, and then try to link those up to foods. Then the second thing you're going to want to do once you've eliminated problem foods is you're going to want to start to patch up the digestive system over time. And you probably heard me say this before. Over time, you get holes, little, little tiny microscopic uh, uh, holes in the digestive tract, and food can leak in. And this is where uh, this is called leaky gut syndrome, or some people will call it intestinal permeability syndrome. And this is where a lot of inflammatory problems begin. So patching up that digestive system becomes very, very important. The glucosamine will help, the glucogel caps. I'm sure he's already using the glucogel caps. Uh, but also... The uh, Fucoid Z, 
can also be very helpful for patching up that digestive tract. Uh, whey protein in the Slender FX can also be helpful. And then uh, you're probably already using this, but just so you know, the Ultimate EFAs can also have a, a healing effect on the digestive tract. So if you're not noticing the kind of results you want from the, from the bone and joint pack, start to focus on digestion. Uh, and then last but not least, the Ultimate Enzymes have an interesting dual effect. Number one, obviously, they're digestive enzymes, so they're going to help you digest your food. But number two, the Ultimate Enzymes are one wonderfully anti-inflammatory. Uh, so make sure he's taking some ultimate enzymes, not only with his food to help him absorb his nutrients, but also using the ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach to take advantage of their anti-inflammatory properties. And by the way, there's also some blood thinning properties they have also. And then one last thing you might want to consider is the BioLumin Nightly Essence, which not only is a wonderful source of probiotics, good bacteria, which can help you digest and utilize nutrients from your foods, but also the BioLumin Nightly Essence has enzymes in it, which can help him digest his food, absorb his food, who absorb his nutrients and also help with the, provide some anti-inflammatory benefits too. So you got lots of strategies there. If you're not noticing the results you want from the bone and health, uh, bone and joint pack, then it's a good idea to start focusing on digestive, the digestive system and digestive health as well. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Let's see if we can get one more in before break, Doug. All right, let's head to Rock Island, Illinois and Teresa, you're on with pharmacist Ben Fuchs. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Ben, how are you? Doing good. What's going on? I have a, it's actually one of my son's uh, friends from high school. She's 20 years old. She's huh? developed lupus. Oh, God. And I was wondering if you, yeah, she's a basketball player, and they're doing a fundraiser for her, and I actually found out about it on Facebook by accident. Um, but what type of protocol would you so, recommend? How old is she, 20? She's you 20. Talking? Oh, my God. That's terrible. <laughs> lupus is an awful, awful autoimmune disease that affects the connective tissue. We talked about connective tissue at the beginning of the program. Imagine this. If your body's 40%, 50%, something like that, connective tissue, and you have a disease where the connective tissue is being attacked by the immune system, you can just imagine how awful this has got to be. And it is awful. And it's, uh, what makes it worse, what makes it really bad, is the fact that it's so unnecessary. Lupus, like all autoimmune diseases, is a sign that the immune system is going haywire. The immune system is located in the digestive system primarily. Hello, digestive system, immune system, any immune problems, focus on digestive system, on the digestive system. And I know I, I keep harping on this, but it's so important. It's the core of the body. The digestive system is the core of health and the core of biology, the human, human biology. When you have lupus, what's happening is, or any autoimmune disease really, what's happening is, is food is leaking into the circulatory system. It's activating the immune system. When the defense system uh, attacks the little particles of food and, that have gotten into the circulatory system, you get cross reactions with various parts of the body. It can happen to the thyroid. It can happen to uh, the, the nervous system, the muscle system. It can happen as you, uh, to the connective tissue, as you're describing with lupus or scleroderma sometimes people will have. There's a lot of these kinds of diseases. So number one, first and foremost, always look to problem foods. If she's at the age of 20 and she's already got lupus symptoms, she must have had some digestive condition, uh, digestive problems her whole life, all her 20 years, probably beginning at birth. So she will know that she has digestive issues. Look for foods that trigger those digestive problems and eliminate those foods, and then start to work with digestive supplements, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, the Ultimate Enzymes, the Fucoid Z, Use apple cider vinegar after all your meals. Focus on digestive health and digestive wellness for all autoimmune diseases. By the way, uh, the glucogel caps may help too. And then some bone soup. Good old bone soup can also help with connective tissue uh, disorders like lupus or scleroderma, etc. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. You know, I'm pharmacist Ben. ben? Yes, yes. Uh, you, you, she might also want to go gluten. on a gluten-free diet. Yeah, the doc gluten, links that with a gluten intolerance. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Gluten will destroy the digestive tract for a lot of folks anyway. And that's a good point, Doug. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, gluten is another su uh, another likely suspect, but it could be any foods. Look for problem foods. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Dead Doctors Don't Lie program. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie program. I'm Pharmacist Ben, along with Doug Winfrey, sitting in for Doc today. Got a couple more minutes to talk to you at 831-685-1080 or 888-379-2552, toll free. Who's next, Douglas? Let's head to Kentucky and Amanda. You're on with pharmacist Ben Fuchs. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Ben. What up? Um, my husband talked to Dr. Wallach a couple weeks ago and um, about my son. He's two years old. He has autism. 
Okay. And Dr. Wallach put him on the Healthy Start Pack, which is what we had already been giving him for a couple months, and he's been taking the recommended dose. We were just curious if we should up the dosage now, or is there any other products that we should put him on? Oh, yeah. First of all, there's a a well-recognized or or becoming well-recognized link between the digestive system and autism. Surprise, surprise. Everything's linked to the digestive Mm -hmm. system. Uh, Are you familiar with this link that's being talked about now? Okay, it's uh, yes. called, uh-huh. called the, uh, there's a diet called the GAPS diet, the Gut and Psychology Syndrome Diet. And any issues with schizophrenia, uh, or psychosis, autism, even depression or anxiety can be related to gut bacteria, bacteria that live in the gut. So first thing, get them on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. How old's your boy? He's two. Uh, oh, he's two. Can he, he probably can't take pills mm-hmm. or he can't take pills. So, no, uh, I mean, if they're capsules. Okay, break, yeah, break open the capsule and put it in some applesauce, uh, and then don't let it sit around. Just do it real quick and, and see if he can do that, because the gut bacteria is the core of everything. If not, try to get him to uh, eat some fermented food. Anything you could do to support gut bacteria. If he has any gluten problems or grain problems, these are all connected. You want to probably link up his, uh, his digestive health to specific foods. Is he constipated? Does he have loose stools? Does he complain? Does he kind of rub his belly? Is he colicky? those kinds of things. If any of that occurs, what you want to do is you want to, uh, you want to make sure that you're eliminating any kinds of foods that are associated with those problems. If, he has, if his autism symptoms start to get worse, see if you could link the flare-ups to problem foods again and then eliminate those foods. So you're going to, the best thing I could tell you for, in addition to the Healthy Start Pack, which definitely you want to do, is you want to focus on foods. Use the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Uh, also, uh, the Z-Radical and the Fucoid Z. The Z radical is liquid and it's tasty. He may like the Z radical a little bit better. And that can help with digestive, uh, help patch up the digestive system. Also, uh, if he can tolerate whey protein, that may also be helpful for supporting the environment where the bacteria live. The Slender FX will get you some of that. Uh, and then, uh, uh, let's see if there's anything else I could tell you. That's, that's a good place to start. Make sure that you stay on the Healthy Start Pack, but make sure that you're focusing on digestive health. All mental health issues, and that includes psychosis and schizophrenia and autism, focus on mental health. If you want to get a good book, get uh, the, gut, uh, the GAPS Diet by Dr. Natasha Kinsky-Campbell. And it's got great recipes in there and explains a lot of what I just talked about. Uh, the, the GAPS di- It's called the Gut and Psychology Syndrome Diet or the GAPS Diet, Dr. Natasha Kinsky-Campbell. And thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. Hope we helped you out. Let's see if we can get one more call in, Douglas. All right. Let's head to St. Louis, Missouri. And Dwayne, you're on with pharmacist Ben Fuchs. Hey, Dwayne. Hi. Hello. Hey. How are you? I'm doing good. What's up? Good. Hey, I've, um, I started having some uh, upper GI digestive issues um, back about four months ago. Um, the doctor gave me some uh, enzymes and some probiotics to take. Nice. Uh, the the MD? The, your, your medical doctor gave uh, you that? Yeah, he's a DO, a functional medicine doctor. Very nice. Very nice. So I started doing that, and it seemed to kind of help a little bit with the heartburn and the upper aches and pains. Okay. And then uh, after a little while, it kind of came back again, but I started to get this pain focused um, in my lower left abdomen, about three or four inches to the left of the belly button and just above the waistline there, mm-hmm. and it's it centered. And that's where all of my issue is now, oh, is sure. I have this pain or this ache. It's 24 hours a day. Oh, my goodness. I've had it for over eight weeks. That's not good. Um, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah, you they might have some. For, go ahead. Did they, they checked already? Did somebody so look at it? They checked for it, did a CAT scan. If everything looked good on the CAT scan, except for I had some diverticulosis. Okay, okay. That's so probably, he put me on that, an antibiotic. Well, um, that's not going to that help did you. Not help. No, that's not going to help you. Here's the deal. Uh, you may have, if you have diverticulosis, if they said you had diverticulosis, then that might be what you're feeling, certainly. Uh, and the fact that you're having these conditions chronically and consistently tells me that you might be doing the same thing over and over and over again. You might be eating the same food over and over and over again. You haven't changed it around. You got to see what you're doing. Uh, if they, if uh, there's nothing, there's no nothing mechanical in there, and they checked, then chances are you're doing something over and over and over again, and it's just causing this problem to not go away. So focus on problem foods, and then eliminate those foods, and then stay on the uh, the probiotics and the digestive enzymes. Got to move. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for listening, folks. I'm pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a spectacular, wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now.